the Lord's day. And the Lord wants to teach us concerning the power in the name of Jesus. And I want you to commit yourself to the Lord that on this great day of the Lord, the power in that name, the authority in that name, the greatness in that name, the possibilities in that name, the Lord will reveal to you. And our meeting today will not just be meeting, preaching as usual. Close your eyes, open your mouth, and talk to the Lord and say, Lord, today, as we hear concerning the name, the name of God and everything connected with that name, the authority, the power, the possibilities, all the good, good promises He has given us. And then when you pray, Understanding what name, what that name can do. Understanding the glories of heaven. The blessings and benefits from heaven that can flow into your life as a result of faith, confidence, trust in that name. That's what the people of old understood concerning that name. And then they were able to climb mountains that their contemporaries were not able to climb. Able to solve problems that their contemporaries were not able to solve. They were able to achieve accomplishments that people around them were not able to achieve because of that name. You pray that the Lord will so help you to understand what's in that name. It will raise your confidence. Lift up your thoughts high into the heavens. Lick you up for the power that holds the universe. Accomplish great, great, marvelous, wonderful things in your life. The name. The name of God. Pray that God will do a great work of grace in your life. As he gives you this revelation. That God through that revelation will accomplish something in your life. What you have never thought about, what you have never dreamt of, what you have never imagined, that through the power in the name, the authority in this exalted name, that the Lord will accomplish it in your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you at this time. We glorify your name and we thank you because we want to reveal great, marvelous, wonderful things to every one of your children concerning the name. When children do not know the authority that the name of their father or their parents hold, they go through life 
as common people. But when they wake up, you know, the power, the authority, the possibilities in the name of the one that gave back to them. How everything changes. And Lord, we pray this morning, everything will turn around in every life in Jesus' name. Let your name come upon us. The blessing in the name. The power in the name. The authority in the name. Oh Lord, reveal the name to us so much. That when we mention that name, heaven will respond. Hell will tremble. The powers of darkness will shake when we mention that name. This morning, Lord, glorify the name of Christ. And do great, wonderful things in the lives of your people. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. We're looking at Exodus chapter 6. We're speaking on the name of God. We're receiving revelation from the Lord concerning the name of God. We want to be able to have a faith growing up. Know him. The possibilities in the name of God. We want to have the same revelation that Abraham, Moses, and the rest of the people in the old covenant. And then you come to the new covenant. What a new. The revelation they had that turned their lives around. Concerning the name of God. In Exodus chapter 6. Verse 3. And I, I appeared unto Abraham. Unto Isaac. And unto Jacob. By the name of God Almighty. But my name. Jehovah. Was by the name Jehovah, was I not known to them? God said, I revealed myself unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob. By my name, God Almighty, that alone would have been sufficient to carry man through life. And yet God said, there is more. When God said, I revealed myself to Abraham. As by my name, God Almighty. Then it's through that name that made God to ask Abraham. Is anything too hard for me? Am I not God Almighty? And if I am God, mighty God, almighty God, what great things will I be able to do? In Genesis chapter 18, verse 14, Is anything too hard for the Lord? That was the question that God asked Abraham, you know my name, God Almighty, on the basis of that name, is anything too hard for me? Almighty God. When you think about that, that means everything you can think about, all power, all stress, all divine energy, all ability, put everything together, is the omnipotent God. And when you think about omnipotent God, that means all powerful God. The, my name is God Almighty. Let, let's try a little and understand what that name did. And why it gives so much faith, trust and confidence to Abraham. Because of that name, we learn God 
created the whole world. You understand the whole world? Think about your city. And think about your state. And think about the country. And think about the continent. And think about the whole world. How do you measure that? God, because He's God Almighty, He created everything. Not only that. You think about all the planets. And you look up and you look at the sun. You know, the sun that is so far away, it looks very small to you because it's very far away. And actually, scientists have now understood. Looking at the dimensions and you look at the diameter, you look at how big the sun is. The scientists have discovered that the world, that is the globe, the earth, if you put 1,000 globes, that is the world, you put it inside the sun, apart from burning up, there will still be some space remaining. That's how big the sun is. And it's God that has created such a big sun. And scientists now have told us that that's not the only sun in the galaxies. There are many other suns. In fact, they say, there might just be more than a million suns. So as we look at all the galaxies, and then God said, I am God Almighty. And if I made everything, what do you think? That means it's infinite, infinite power, infinite might, infinite strength. Look at all the stars. And look at how deep the oceans are. And see what the God, God of heaven, God Almighty, see what he has done. And he says, I am the Lord. My name is God Almighty. Is anything too hard for me? Abraham understood the meaning of that name. That's why he believed. At the age of 100, he could have a child. Sarah understood the meaning. The revelation and the glory, the exaltation and the depth of the power in that name. That's why she had faith to conceive when she was past age. Counting that this God Almighty is a faithful God. That's how much they knew. Not only that, that's why when God called Abraham and said, Give me your son and offer him to me a bond offering. He believed that because of this name, God Almighty, if that child was offered to the Lord, God, because He's Almighty, He could raise Him up. That's what they understood as to the revelation of the meaning and the power of that name. In that Exodus chapter 6, verse 3 again, and I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, by the name of God Almighty. But my name Jehovah, that's another thing now. By my name Jehovah was I not known to them. That means there was much they didn't know, and yet... What they knew was enough to carry them through life and to make them so successful and so strong and so irresistible, unbeatable, more than conquerors. The little they knew by my name Jehovah, the Jehovah that saves, the Jehovah that heals, and the Jehovah that is always present, and the Jehovah that provides. By that name, Jehovah, they didn't know me. And now we know all the names today. In fact, now we know him as Father. Jesus Christ came, and in the new covenant, he said, Is God a Father which art in heaven? Daniel chapter 2. In Daniel chapter 2, now we see for the revelation concerning the name of God. Daniel chapter 2, I'm reading from verse 20. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever. For wisdom 
and might her ears. Now Daniel said, it's not just his almighty, his all wise, the all wise God. Think about that. Wise to fix everything in the world. Wise to fix everything in your life. Wise to do anything, everything there is to do. He is mighty on the one hand, the almighty. is wise on the other hand, is the all wise God. God. And in verse 21, he changes the times and the seasons. He removeth the kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. He revealeth deep the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness, and the light dwelleth with him. Begins to tell us now more about God. Now in the New Testament, First Timothy chapter one. In First Timothy chapter one, verse sixteen, verse seventeen. First Timothy chapter one, verse sixteen, and then verse seventeen. How be it for this cause I obtained mercy, that in me first. Jesus Christ my show forth all long suffering for a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting now unto the king eternal immortal invisible the only wise God be honor and glory forever and ever Amen. Now you see how the revelation concerning the name of God is increasing. It's getting higher. From God Almighty to God Jehovah. And everything you need for spirit, soul, and body, you have inside that name Jehovah. And then to the God who is revealing secrets. Who is wise and who can do everything and who gives knowledge because he knows everything the omniscient God and now immortal invisible eternal the only wise God the name of God as you study the Word of God you are going to discover there is a close connection 